this video I'm going to teach you a way to save your acoustic guitar's bridge blade. Welcome back folks. I was playing a guy's guitar the other day and actually I was checking it out for him and, and tuning it up and popped me in the string, one of the strings, it's a fourth string I think and the string got real loose on it. I'm going to show you what happened here and I explain to you how to stop that from ever happening to your guitar because when that string does that what's happening is the ball hangs up on the bottom of the uh, bridge pin. Alright it sticks there and then for whatever reason it lets go and that ball slams up again to a bridge plate doing great damage to it every time that happens. So I'm going to show you a way to stop it. Come closer. Now what's happening say well, what's happening what's happening when that does that like I say that ball on the end of your string I just had there it is the ball on the end of your string is hanging up on the end of the pin okay and then for whatever reason it lets go the wood moves it you know it dries and gets humidified and dries and it moves constantly plus the vibration of the strings you know a lot of movement in there and eventually it lets up Oh man, I don't think that's going to fit this guitar. It maybe will. No. Well, I'll show you a better way. Works. Cutters. Lay them across the saddle. There you go. You don't even have to put any force at all on them. Yeah, see there? How the end of that pin is just flat. It's flat as a pancake, man. See what I'm talking about? So what you've got to do with that is cut that off at an angle. Uh, I use these dikes to do it with. These are for pulling frets. But you see where the string goes in. The notch where your string lies. Okay. I want to cut that in this direction. Angle your, uh, however you cut it. I should have wore a white shirt so you all could see. The string groove is in the bottom, okay? Let me just go ahead and cut it. Now, see how that's angled now? The next time the string comes up against that, you want the angle to run. I, don't, I hope you can see that. You want the angle to run toward the the groove <laughs> in the pin. You know what I'm trying Does that make any sense at all? Wow, I don't know if it makes any sense or not. It doesn't really matter how much you cut off off of the thing. Does you know don't cut it too short, obviously. Let's do another one. I'm gonna have to loosen the string more, I think. That's a tight one. Wow, is it ever tight. If I had the string loose enough to shove the string down in there, loosen that right up. I'm going to have to fight it though. Naturally. If it's going to happen, it'll happen on camera, man. Every single time. <laughs> wow, I'm going to have to loosen the string more. Maybe I should just bring you back once I get it off or out. I'm going to do them all so, you know, it might as well come out because I'm going to do every every one. I'll bring you back when I get this bitch out. Actually, let me show you what I did. I loosened the string, clipped it. Here's a good tip. When you got the string loose like that, you can shove it down in the hole like so. Now that'll, that should come out of there really easy now. Because I shoved the ball down away from the, the pin. Yeah, look at that, man. All you got to do is shove the string down in and uh, the pin will pop right out. Nine times out of ten. Alright, here we go again. The groove is right there, if you can see that. There's the groove that the string's going to lay in. I'm going to hold that down and I want to cut at an angle about like that. If you can see that. I'm not going to put that broken string back on. Anyways, that's all there is to this. 
that one's probably going to stick too. You know what? I got to put strings on this guitar anyway. So just make life easy on ourselves. I'll show you that work again in a momento. Let's cut those passage right off. <laughs> now, now, the third string here, see? That's probably very tight, that pin. I could almost pick the guitar up with the pin if I could get a hold of it. So I'm going to shove the string down into the guitar, you see. I'll probably still have to use these, but it won't give me a problem like that other second one did. See, it just pumps right out with no effort at all. All right, last time. Now, if you don't have dikes, those are for removing frets. But you can cut them with just like wire cutters. You can cut them with just regular wire cutters like that. We'll do the same thing. I got my uh, groove that the string lays in on the bottom, down facing that way. And I'm going to cut this towards that angle. See that? Perfectly clean, beautiful, clean cut. What that does, the brick, the uh, the ball on the strings cannot hang up on the bottom of the pin anymore after that. There's another tight pin. Shove the string in. Now watch how easy it comes out. See that? Practically fell out by itself, man. One more time. I like to use these because they're just a much cleaner a much cleaner uh, cut. These are very sharp. So you can see it just clips it off very quietly and easy. That's perfect, man. And by putting that little angle on, the, on your pins, you're able to shove both of them in there at the same time. Another important thing is you always, always want to put the same pin back in the same hole on the acoustic guitars. People don't think that's very important, but it is. <laughs> it's really important that you do that. I'm going to have to sweep when I get finished here. There again, the groove facing down. And I want to click it at about that angle right there if I can get it to the camera. I don't know if you can see it or not. See, when that ball comes up against that angle, it's just going to slip right over it. Got one more here. I, wouldn't, I was just going to show you a couple, but I might as well go ahead and show them off to you since we're doing it. There again, hold it with the groove facing down. Now that's the way I do it. And get, uh, you see how I'm, I'm cutting the angle toward the groove. The groove's facing down, so the angle's going to be like that. And there, maybe you can see it. Can't see the camera for shit, but I think you can see it. And that's a perfect job, man. Except that first string, I never took it off. I don't know why. I don't know why I left it. The... That was close. I caught it, believe it or not. And that's how you save your bridge plate. Whoa! It's hot in here. Boogity ball. So you saw there, pretty much in real time. How long it took me to do that and that's going to help of course i got a plate mate in this guitar so you know it doesn't matter how much the strings bang up there it's not going to even touch the bridge plate i would recommend those they change your sound a little bit but they save the life of your bridge plate wow i'm burning up sweating man it's been hot here it's been hot and dry it's been over 30 days since we had any rain and uh probably been in the 90s near 100 degrees for the last 30 days or so Today is, uh, what is today? It's October the 2nd. I don't know when you'll see this. It'll be a week or two probably. October 2nd today, and it was 97 degrees here. And it's supposed to be 90, 97 tomorrow again, they're saying. Upper 90s. It's just wicked, man. So my apologies for the air and everything in the background running. Fans, air. I think the dishwasher's on. <laughs> Everything's turned on, man. Uh, anyways, 
You see how quick I did that? Do it. <laughs> do it! Don't say anything, just do it. And it'll save your bridge plate, man. It'll save you a lot of heartaches down the road because, you know, even when your strings don't fly up there and do that, I'm sure it's probably happened to you before, but even if it has not, that string, you know, laying up against the bridge plate all the time, it's going to it's gonna carve it away, folks. I'm telling you, you're ruining your bridge plate. Probably, as we speak right now, your bridge plate's getting eaten. <laughs> and you can do that. And if you do that and install uh, Mitchell's Plate Mate, I've got a bunch of them here. Those of you who don't know what they look like, I'm sure you do, but that's what they look like. Make sure you get the right size. I got videos showing you all this stuff, how to measure for the right size for your guitar, how to measure your guitar to order the right one, and get it from Mitchell. Don't get it from the guys we hate to love. Mitchell's the guy that thought that up and invented it. So, you know, and I guarantee you'll get it cheaper off of him, too. <laughs> Anyways, I want to say I'm sorry again for a, a, a lot of the PMs and emails I get that I haven't replied to, can't reply to. There's just no way. And I want to say one more time, if you want me to work on your guitar, put guitar repair, either the very first words in the message or in the subject line. Because, you know, I, well, it's wicked, man, just looking through that much mail every day and messages and stuff. My Facebook inbox is, there's thousands of PMs in there right now. They're all red. It was when I got off the computer today. But tomorrow, it'll be, it'll be a whole bunch of new ones in there. They are every day. So put guitar repair if you want to work on your guitar or see it on the channel. Uh, and I'll most likely, be, I miss a lot of them even. So, you know, I couldn't miss, still miss it. But I try to look for that and help you guys out if you need some help. And I can work it in. Anyways, cheers. Thanks for watching. Clip your pins. Uh, put in a plate mate. Well, you wouldn't really necessarily have to do that. But I would recommend them. I do recommend them. I didn't used to just because they changed the sound. Like I say, you, all you need is these like cutters. Or if you have dikes like this to pull frets, they're sharp, man. They do a good job. You could cut it with a pocket knife. I mean, or sand it even. I've sanded a bunch of them. These are ebony pins, and you see how easy they were to cut. So I hope that covers it all. I hope it helps you. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. Oh, yeah, cue ball's coming back. She's just, she's never around, man, when I wrap these videos up. Since I was sick, <laughs> let me tell you about this and then we'll go. Since I was sick, you remember I had to keep all that crap all over me. And she hated that stuff. I mean, she wouldn't even come around me, man. And that's when she quit coming in here and staying with me while I made videos. If I was going to give you a cue ball fix right now, I'd have to go in there and find her and bring her in here. Well, occasionally, occasionally she'll come in here by herself now that I don't have to put the crap on me anymore. But uh, anyways, you'll see her again. Cheers. Thanks for watching.